All right, you guys, so my last trip to Japan, I was able to go to Tokyo Awa Salon and what an amazing experience, you guys. And one of the vendors I actually visited there was Bridge Japan. And they had the e 171 on display, which is pretty much equivalent to the Stradia 3. I was like, this is one seat that I gotta have. And guess what, you guys, I have two. And Vision Auto Imports brought today two of the e -derbs. Let me show you guys. Oh my god, I'm so excited I can't even talk. One, two. Let's do a quick unboxing video for you guys. These haven't been unboxed yet. This is the first time. Even though I've seen them, I'm just excited. So before we unbox them, I just want to show you guys the label and the part number. Uh, I stand corrected. The ones that they sent us was uh, the E-Derb 172. I'm pretty sure this probably gives it away what color it is because there's options you can get red, silver, and blue stitching for the logo and the piping all the way around. So I don't know what we're gonna get. So I'm pretty excited for that. Let's get started on this unboxing. We got silver. Not much for the packaging, but man. Let me just, uh, oh, let me get a pair of scissors here. Okay, let me set you guys down. And let me just uh, unbox this for you guys here. So based on line, it says it's roughly both. 14 kilograms per seat. Oh, nice. Super nice. Smells so new. Woo! Nice. Dude, my bag says Eater Brid. So first things first, I noticed that they have the, uh, it's included now in most of the seats. I don't know if it's a standard thing, but this is the seat occupancy for your passenger side. So that uh, you don't have to go out and buy a bladder anymore. And then the hardware is in here. You got it nice. Let me just open this up for you guys. Got a really nice bridge sticker and all your hardware to mount this to the seat rail. Nice stainless steel. And this is for your seat belt bracket. And then the force. I think these are washers or spacers. If you need to mount the, raise it up or not. And then, your authenticity, quality control stamp, right here, that's included. 
this you gotta have this this is authentic your serial number makes it don't buy reps you guys another one tells you and then you got your foil sticker of authenticity and what model it is instruction manual all in Japanese Same thing here. How to mount it to your bracket. Cool, cool, cool. Let me put this all back in. So you guys, I don't want to really go into technical details, but I just want to give you just some specs of it. So on the shoulder here, between here and here, it's f roughly 560 millimeters. And the seat itself, between here and here, is uh, 445. And the total height from here, to the top is roughly 868. Just a, just rough estimates, you guys. What can I say? This is a beautiful seat. And I didn't realize that the, there's actually red inside the perforation here. I didn't notice that at uh, the auto salon. And in the red version of E-Derb, it's red here and it's red here. And same goes with the uh, blue. And uh, it's, I think it's real leather. It's yeah, apparently yeah, it's real leather, you guys. But I could be wrong. But it smells like real leather, and uh, Alcantara, absolutely gorgeous. And this in the back here, well, here is replica carbon. Okay, and back here, amarid black carbon. So I think it's real carbon fiber, it looks like it. The, the weaves are just, ooh, you can actually just see it's beautiful, you guys. From the last year's model, they changed the, because mine, you have to twist. This one, you just pull to recline. Yeah, that's nice. There's your serial number. And of course, your classic. Brit Japan milled in. Let's see the bottom. Yeah, so you can see the carbon weave on the amarid. And of course you have for your seat belt and your seat occupancy here. Either 172 and whatever this cold is. This probably has to do with the gray and you got the antibacterial processed, so it got rid of all the germs and everything. All right, so the last time I was in Japan, there was a gentleman sitting right next to me and he was basically imagining heel and towing and driving, sitting in these seats. And it was crazy how enthusiasts or enthusiastic they are when it comes to their JDM parts and uh, they get really involved. And that's just the spirit of Japan, you guys. Hopefully I have a clip I'll just share with you guys. If I do, I'll share with you guys and how he's just sitting there pretending or imagining how he's driving and how all these seats felt before he, they made the final purchase. That's Japan for you guys. I just can't believe I have an actual set of these in my possession, you guys. This is probably one of the very first ones in probably Canada for sure. Uh, I'm not too sure about North America, but Canada for sure. This is the very first set and uh, it's brought to you guys by Envision Auto Imports. Gerald and his team is more than happy to help you guys get any kind of parts just like this one. And uh, I'll put uh, their information in the link below. Go hit them up, you guys. They'll be more than happy to help you guys out anytime. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. I'm super excited to throw these seats in this car. Uh, you guys hit the subscribe button, follow along, and uh, keep in the loop. We'll see you guys next week. See ya. Thank you.